I was trying to look for an IK rig to use, but don't know what to choose. Don't worry, I got you. Today I'm going to public an IK rig that I used it in this few years. This IK rig played all the best tricks I picked up from Maya and Blender. So even in my mirror, you can animate it like a pro. You can download it from Mediafire. The link in the description. Now we are in my mirror. We draw the IK into my mirror. Before everything starts, we should turn off high ghost timeline and we click on the right arm go to IK for the target we select arm layer for the angle target we select the arm row and do the same thing to the other arms and legs after all of that you can test it out look is it work normally to control this IK rig you can just simply double click the controller and move it whatever you want. You can also use rotation to rotate the arm. In the IK rig, you can see the controller is separate to different parts. One is the XYZ and the other one is the layer. So what can it do? When we set up the base animation, we can use the layer to add some flavor to it. Here is the dancer animation I've been doing in the black one. You can see it on the left side, we haven't used the animation layer yet. But after using it, the movement of the arm looks more natural. So here is a quick comparison. The animation on the right side uses the IK rig with animation layer, the other doesn't. You will notice the one with layer feels more smoother and more dynamic. So next I will teach you how to use the layer. First, we will start with the controller that you can double click to use it. I will call it XYZ in the rest of the video. So here we set up a very simple animation. Next, we are going to use layer to give it anticipation. So here, we move the arm backward, and at the middle, we, we want to do the acceleration of it rise in the arm. Finally, we want to copy the first keyframe into the last second of the animation. It will make sure that the keyframe we set on XYZ will work properly. Remember to adjust the keyframe. The last frame is a little weird, so I'm gonna fix its rotation like that. And here you go. You can see the comparison right there. It looks more dynamic and has anticipation and acceleration to make it look good. So here is the end of the video. Before you go, the next week I will public the female body model tutorial. If you, if you are interested of it, please make sure to subscribe and like the video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.